Welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We're going to jump right in. We're not going to waste any time. Let's go. We've already played the demos. We've already talked about it enough. We can chat while we go through the flashback. Uh, I don't think we need... We've already seen this. We've already... Bonuses or whatever. Let's, let's get it going. Okay, so... Confirm whether or not any save data... Check without. Okay, I should get everything. Rebirth demo. Remake. And intermission. Okay. We got it all. No. Thank you so much, Square, to have. I, I said this during the demo. 10 out of 10 video game, the fact that they have this option. Seriously. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. Is dynamic harder than normal? Or does it start at normal and then go down to easy? The heck? It's such a weird... All right, we're just going to pick normal for now, but we'll have to test that out later. Yeah. Okay, we'll test it out later then. Just do normal for now. All right, so we're not actually starting with the... Okay, we're starting with the same video, though. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Let me know how the audio is. Remember that time everything blew up? I'm waiting, Cloud. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction, caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement, declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. Yo, we did the tornado. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. I figured they'd just say Wutai. Stamp. <laughs> yeah, so I don't want to get too deep into it yet, but I think that was the other stamp, yeah. See where that goes. I was very specifically placed there. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, 
followed by the fall of the uh, the fall of the Sector Seven place. Why? That tornado really did a number on the city. I found another reactor blew up, which must have been caused by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see, oh, over there. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. Oh no, not the hand thing. <laughs> That soldier, armed with a buster sword, highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here! You got board! Prep for takeoff! The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble! Quick, get the camera off him! Come on, this way! Contact the SAR Targets have been secured. We are expelling via helo now. Move it. We're taking off. What? Hey, turn it off. <laughs> the, the survivors are being taken away. I can't hear them all the time. Okay, so are the people not suspicious that Shinra just like killed the newscast? <laughs> How are people not like, okay, this is a problem. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako. But he'll be fine. <laughs> hey! That answers the question is whether or not they're dead. Or some people are like, are, are they dead? I'm Zach. Can I? Oh, I was gonna check my stuff, but I can't even like attack or anything. It's just a cutscene. Where's my movement tutorial? I don't know how to move. I'm gonna laugh if later they give us a tutorial. That, that would make me really annoyed. Holy cow, this is cool. I'm like, man, they really started off hot, didn't they? going. It said a buster sword. Except they think there's more than one. Which apparently there is now. And Zack feels fun. This is such a great, like, just get in and play with no tutorial. Teach us what to do. This is what I like to see. Okay, Zach. Zach. I love how he's full power, Zach. And they're showing that. They're showing that he's... Stupid full power, Zack. Dang, his movement is sick. Seeing Zack and Red 13 interact. Interesting. There's the ancient. Heads are gonna roll if we don't find them. Just shut the hell up and search. 
Wow, nice search. This is so messed up. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. This is interesting, like, different key that her theme was in, but then it went to the normal key. All right, then. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? So I'm guessing we get a chance to skip here, but we're gonna, we're just gonna play through. Yeah, no problem. It's It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. What little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came. A mission. Thank you, Smokey. Thank you, Zeno. Thank you, Catfish. I couldn't believe my luck. Yeah, so like, I don't want to conjecture too much because, you know, we'll see as we go, but just my kind of thoughts right now. It's really coming down. Huh? Like, the timing is so weird. Oh, hey, I wanted to mention, hey, too. Feeling any better? This guy's voice. Oh, good. That guy's voice is Cloud's voice actor. <laughs> Which is pretty great. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. And then, of course, the motion sick this? comment is so good. Yeah, you bet. I love that they added that. And the squats. It's so good, man. I love it. I, I, I absolutely love it. I love... We get the squats. We get the note about the... Sickness. And we get the voice actor. Like, they did such a great job. I was afraid they were going to kind of gloss over that. But it's such an important part. And the fact that they actually, like, it's so, it, it just shows me that they really care about the details, you know? Hey, rein it in. And it's not heavy handed either. No can do. You know? Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on the mission at some point. I think if you really were playing Final Fantasy VII for the first time with this remake, you would not pick up on it right away just like you wouldn't in the original Finally like it's not first, what do they do? that heavy-handed stealing my shot at glory I didn't join soldier to be an errand boy I joined up so I could be a hero like you hmm. well our mission is to survey a rundown reactor another one of those Turks gigs I love the the way he slouches over there. It's very not cloud like. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our twelve. Let's go. Let's play Ruin. Yeah, it wasn't completely installed yet. I wonder if I'm gonna have to reset now, but hopefully not. All right, he took it. God, the music here is so good. Duh.
Wait in the truck. No way. I got this. So I talked about this in the demo, but uh, Sephiroth's not like stupid OP, can't be killed, invincible like he is in the original. But I think that it is worth it to get like an actual good gameplay experience here. Also, Cloud isn't like a complete buffoon. He's really only a buffoon in this cutscene. And then after that, he's actually pretty strong. He was in a different league from the rest of us. But uh, I don't think that ruins it either. Like, I don't think it was necessary for Cloud to be a buffoon in the flashback. They did it in the original, but it's not like completely necessary. So I kind of like the change. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor. And the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. I'm surprised I haven't gotten the option to skip yet. I figured it would be right at the start. Maybe I missed it. I don't know how I could have missed it. Sweet home, right? Tell me, how does it feel? They I might uh them, so I wouldn't know. It might be after this. It might be like when we sleep. So we get a chance to play on the piano or something. A mother named Nova. She died shortly after I was born. Also this song. My father. So good. Oh there. Denova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. I talked about this during the demo too, but man, I love Sephiroth. Like, pre, pre-disaster Sephiroth. The mayor here. I, to I don't like Xander. <laughs> Welcome you to our humble little town. Xander's pretty lame. If you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. Like just his whole demeanor is so good. He's always smiling, he's like happy, he's playful, he's like everything he should be. You can tell he's genuinely friends with this person. So, like, yeah, it's awesome. They did such a good job with him. I was afraid, because I, I was talking when Rebirth was, um... Also, God, I have so much to talk about. <laughs> First of all, I was afraid when Rebirth came out, or was coming out, because I was like, they're going to try to make Sephiroth too tough, because they want him for all the, you know, they want to sell his statue, they, they want to make him, like, the ultimate villain for uh, advertising. So like, I just had this like fear that they were gonna make him too tough and mean and like all the time. So I was really happy to see that they were, they were willing to make him the way he should be, where he was, he was actually like, he really valued friendship and stuff. Um, also, I was gonna ask, are the tutorials not popping up because I have a previous save file in the demo? Is that why at the beginning it didn't give me like a press the analog stick to move? But it just gave me a tutorial just now. So I guess uh, they did actually do the entire beginning with no tutorials. So claps, claps for them. Yeah, no, but like, that one I just got was one of the ones from the demo, so it's for sure, like... They just didn't have any at the beginning. They, they allowed the beginning to breathe without tutorials. I'm sure there will be tons of tutorials in this section, but 
I just want to give credit where credit is due. They didn't screw up the pacing of the beginning cutscenes by just being like, by the way, you can move with the analog stick. As silly as that may sound, it really does deserve credit because no game does that anymore. Hello. Ah, Shinra's here, I see. Thank you for coming. You sound way too happy. Shinra? Oh, whoops. I, I still need to check. I recognize you, Cloud. How you've grown. Yep, so we got photo mode tutorial. Okay, so it should be hopefully performance. Motion sensor function. It's all fine. Okay, yeah, it's performance. So we're gonna stick on performance because I'm on a 2K monitor. And I'm recording in 2K, but my stream's at 1080, and the YouTube video will be at 1080, so it's better to be in performance. And apparently they fixed performance. I heard that um I heard that there was a update because like people were complaining about performance being bad. Um, so apparently they fixed it. But yeah, I would take 60 anyways. I, I would always play performance anyways, but just saying there's no reason for us to play on graphics. Again, thank God they have this. I can't tell you how happy I am. I've played so many games where the freaking dialogue comes out of the thing and you guys can't hear it. And also, I can't hear it because I have headphones on, so it's like... But then, there there's some games where you can turn it off, but then you just don't hear it at all. So, like, to have a setting to have it come through the actual regular audio is so, so nice. Because most games either don't have the setting at all, or you just have to mute it, and then you just miss out on that audio. So, good stuff. Look at all these... Square Enix added again with all the languages. And we also have French and German. Did Remake have German? I feel like Remake only had French. French and Japanese and English. I think German's new. You guys remember? Schling schling cloud. It did? Okay. In Europe? Hmm. I wonder if the US version had it. Because they do... They do change sometimes. Like they don't they they will change the amount of languages that certain releases have. I don't know why they do that. I mean, they even went as far as to charge for the Japanese voice acting in Lightning Returns here, but make it free in Japan. It's like why? <laughs> if you did all the voice acting, just include it in every version. I don't know why they Okay, we don't get our DLC till later, which I'm probably not going to use anyways. I think we already looked at this during the demo, but we'll do it again. We have a Road Warrior Bangle, which is not what he normally has. In OG, he also has Healing, Fire, and Ice, which he does not have. Normally he has a preemptive. But there is a really cool detail with Sephiroth that I won't spoil till we get there. But there's a pretty good detail with with Sephiroth. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. Why does she say it like that? Audio files are really heavy for memory. Okay, that makes sense. They try to lower the the size of the game by leaving it out. That makes sense. She was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there. She looks exactly like she looks in the original. I would say. Cloud, 
that you don't really get to see her much, but hey, the outfit and everything. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? Also, a lot of this oh, is sure uh, clean up nice. verbatim. The text from the original. I've never been so proud. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. You probably heard that from my video, Mortar. <laughs> you know, there's my in depth of cloud, I talk about that. Or I make a joke about it at least. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's well, the perfect type for you, I'd say. I don't think she says s silly goose in the original. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, those uh, memory... So, like, in the original, I thought that those were just, like, skips to make it quicker. Like, they were trying to get across the idea that, like, Cloud was there for a while, but they didn't want to actually go through all the dialogue. So they, like, skipped around. But here, it's like a memory flash thing, but they're in the same exact spot, which is cool. All right, we got to go do the Easter egg. Sandwich lady. Before you go. Wait a minute. Is that Cloud? Silly boy. You should have let us know you'd be paying us a visit. Eat up, Cloud. You still got room to grow, you know. You remember these pork sandwiches, don't you? They're exactly like the ones Mrs. Tyler used to make. I'm sure you must have taken them as snacks on a play date before. Wait. Did you go on any playdates? Claudia must be so proud of what a fine young man you've become. Take care of yourself. You'll be spending the night at home, won't you? Maybe I'll pay your mother a visit. Oh, but I shouldn't impose. You two must have a lot of catching up to do. You will not have room for supper tonight. Just don't be a stranger now, Cloud. I know your mother Way to will be go. happy to see you Ruined much dinner. more often. Uh, now we can check it later. I'm eager to talk to Goodness, is that you, Cloud? Actually, we can do it now. Is she new? City folk are so sophisticated. A soldier. And you are? Like the song. Richard Sangan. A humble traveler of the world. And teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Yeah, I like Zangan a lot. You. you could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, one hundred and twenty-eight. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. T sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? <laughs> Got anything to say for yourself? Destroyed. I didn't know. I, didn't know. I like the uh, pronunciation Zangan, too. I always said Zangan. Zangan sounds a lot better. Here's the ruby weapon easter egg. The 
Uh, can't really get any closer, but... Marvel at the Ruby Red Sunset. And then there's also the... Oh, no, wait. No, there's nothing up here. We, uh... We were interested in whether or not this room looked like the room from... Um... Either the original or, like... Um... They show this room in Crisis Core, too. But, uh, it kind of just looks completely different. And this is the picture that is the fake picture in Crisis Core, but it doesn't look the same. Yeah, in Crisis Core, there's this, uh, this mission you go on, and then you find out that there's a hidden safe behind that picture. Obviously, that's not important, but it, you know, would be cool. The Seven Wonders of Nibelheim. So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess. After two years away and all that. Uh -huh. Also... To be fair, Crisis Core is not this canon, so it's not, that's compilation, so it's not like it has to be the same. Whoa. When I walked up to the edge, I was not doing it. Hey, D. Martin, thank you very much for the prime. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the whole year as well. Huh? You went to my place? You better believe it. I jammed on it. I figured you might be there. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but... It's easy, you know. It's not like we hung out that much. We Didn't even reasons. knock. Just broke in. <laughs> Our reasons, huh? <laughs> Bet most of them had to do with you. I didn't actually really look around her house too much Remember before. Remember my cat? Her name was... Fluffy, I think? Yeah. She was always disappearing. And that day was no different. What a odd detail. Are we gonna like see Fluffy later? Then I stole your parents' stuff. They had saved up their entire life for that ether, and I just came in and stole it. Because I'm Shinra, and I do what I want. You went into my room? I did. <laughs> I did. You went through my stuff? I know I shouldn't have. <laughs> Why did he make that face? <gasps> What you got in there? Cloud. You asshole. So there's a couple cool things in here. The Chocobo Racing sign. The big one being this. Which is super cool. I did not expect a Final Fantasy VIII reference in Final Fantasy VII Remake. But, uh... It fits. It's Tifa's room. Dolphin Splash. Dolphin kick. So that's really cool. Was that Moogle here? Yeah, it was. I remember. Because I remember the... It looks like it has a bandage on its head. 
And I think that was it. There's some pictures there, but they're not really of anything. There's a magazine, but it's kind of nothing. Oh, the cowboy hat. Don't forget the cowboy hat. All right, let me run to the bathroom real quick before we play the piano. All right, piano time. Start tickling the ivories. Did you actually play it? I jammed. It's like, why is it, why? Maybe it's just an us thing. Maybe we're the only ones that meme about the jam, but why change it to I went to town on it? Just put jam on it. It's probably a nice thing. <laughs> so do we not have the challenge yet? Quit your performance. Just left it alone, you know. Yeah. What were you even thinking? Yeah, uh, don't quit your day job. So wait, did they actually remove the Yeah. Okay, so this is interesting. So like in the demo, you had to play the song, and if you played the song well then they reacted differently. They were like, wow, Cloud, that was really good. But here, you're doomed for them to just say, like, wow, Cloud, you suck. <laughs> yeah, they, they put it in the demo so they could show off the minigame. But it's just funny that, like, because they removed it, now we'll never get that dialogue. You got the... Oh, so I just sucked then. What? How do they know if you're good? How do they know if you played the good? What about this? Did you guys like that? Were you entertained? They're not even going to say anything. Wow. Now we got to reset the game so we can get the good dialogue. It just has to sound decent. Okay, what? what is this? Did they put an AI into the game to discern if I'm a good piano player or not? In before someone makes a video where they like get up to the piano and they play some like beautiful Beethoven masterpiece and then Barrett's like, wow, that sucked, Cloud. Something, something, skill issue. Didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right, we'll do. Night. Dude, I just freaking love Sephiroth so much. Like, I know I'm totally overanalyzing this and nerding out, but like the, the way that he like turns and looks directly in Cloud's eyes and talks to him and then like pats him on the shoulder that even set like turn like says night like it's just so good it's so like personal that it, it feels like old Sephiroth and not just like you know we, we we plucked new Sephiroth we plucked evil Sephiroth and put him in the scene and tried to make him a bit nicer like he feels like a totally different person which is important 
because it makes the change so much more epic. You know, it doesn't feel like, oh, we just got mad. Like, he feels like a totally different person here versus 10 minutes from now, you know? But I couldn't get to sleep that night. Which is important. I was too excited, too nervous. And that's, and that's one of the things that is so great about the remake. I know that not everyone likes the remake. I know that not everyone likes the way they're changing the story, but there's so many glimpses of things that they can do better than the original. And I think that we can all agree that that's one thing that is even better than the original. You know, the original could not get that across as well with the little models and just having the dialogue. It did get across that he was a different person, but the remake can do it so much more better so much better we can have the animations we can have the inflection of his voice we can have you know just so much more there to really make it feel like he he changed you know so like that's what's so incredible about the remake is that there are these little details they can do that even supersede the original take what the original wanted to do but couldn't because they didn't have the you know it was 1997 and revamp them and make them even better so as much as you know people complain about certain things there are a lot of things like this that we can all come together and agree. Like that's just literally exactly what they wanted to do in the original, but even better They're you know, they're able to use the modern technology to, to get across the same point, even better. Yeah. That's pretty much the same for me. Why? Right. <laughs> that isn't a change. It's an enhancement. Yo, bro, thank you so much, man. What happened the last time she went up there? That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own. But don't forget, President didn't die in his chair, so zero out of ten. Don't forget. Every remake game is forever a zero out of ten because of we leave once our guy that. Arrives. Never forget. Yes, sir. Brian. Sephiroth. Brian. I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't. Dad. Tifa's dad, big lame. You can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. Yeah, the song. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. I don't remember this song being so good. This song's incredible. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Cowboy Tifa theme. Please, Sephiroth. It means a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? It took Tifa's theme and banjoed it up. What kind of sound? It's not, I don't even think it's a banjo, but thanks. They root and tootened it up. <laughs> you having a good time? One more. Root and tootin' Tifa's theme. I guess we were for a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebo. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. <laughs> Sweet home, Tifa. See, like, we don't need this. We don't, we don't need this. We, we literally had to fight stuff with Zack earlier. We don't need that. You can tell me that boxes have stuff in them. You don't have to tell me how to attack. I guess it's whatever. You already have to tell me. You already have to tell me that boxes have stuff in it. Might as well remind me how to attack. Whatever. I just like nitpicking tutorials. Okay. Let me have this. You probably already know it's this, my favorite thing to do. Reactors, the first of its kind. It really put that evil on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Yeah, I like the credits in this part. I will say walking around this landscape is still pretty, like, clunky. 
I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do <laughs> rent stuff on them. That's so cool. Which are no fun at all. Yep, the credits are rolling. The giveaway is over, guys. I said at the end of the credits, the giveaway is over, so. Giveaway. <laughs> Giveaway's done. Mushroom wins. Yo, Anez, thank you so much for the five gifted subs, man. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate that. How's it going, Knock? Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves, is all. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. Huh. Yes, you really are the best there. Yo, livestream. Be sure to check out the giveaway page, livestream. Everyone that gets a gifted sub that's new is entered into the giveaway. So anyone that you gift sub that happens to be new to the channel will be automatically entered to the giveaway. And if anyone gives a gifted sub, they're also entered. So I tried to... I know that everyone here really likes to gift sub to new people that come in, whether it be from the YouTube or just from around Twitch. We really like to support new people. So I wanted to include that in the giveaway and kind of, you know, just thank you guys for for gift subbing new people. Because I think that's really important. New people showing up, they get gifted a sub right away. It really makes them feel welcome. So I wanted to support that. So that's the way I built the giveaway. And I think it's really cool. Seen those near the village and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Oh, oh my God. All yours. Copy that. Things are happening in the chat. Ooh, song. So. I had a good about good amount to say about the combat during the demo. So I won't repeat myself too much. We already got a trophy. I think that the combat in general feels more fluid. I got two trophies already. That was awesome. What? Just because he killed? Win a battle. Well, okay. If this is how it's going to be, <laughs> there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. So, I didn't actually pick this up much during the down. Okay, there it is, finally. Holy cow. That's weird that it's here. Note that skipping will not affect gameplay, so I guess it doesn't matter if we pick up materia and stuff. So, I didn't I didn't pick this up much. Yeah, maybe it was because of the credits, which is kind of a weird... Maybe that's why they wanted the credits to roll. Uh, or just the regular tutorials. But we're missing out on a lot of the important tutorials, like all the combo moves and stuff. So I don't think it's the tutorials they wanted us to see. I think it was just the credits, honestly. But anyways... I didn't pick this up much in the demo, but do you think Sephiroth is letting Cloud take the lead because he knows Tifa's here? I didn't even really think about that, and that's something that definitely doesn't happen in the original, but would be a cool addition. Do you think Sephiroth's, like, picking up, like, oh yeah, he wants to show off to Tifa, so, like, let him? The way that he responds to that, I was thinking he was just being lazy, or just like, you know, oh, I don't have to fight? Nice. But now that I'm thinking about it, it's like maybe he's letting her letting him show off. <laughs> One wingman angel. <laughs> Anyways, um, so the combat feels even more fluid than the original, than remake. I mean, uh, so that's good. Um, I think that. It's a bit overwhelming, all the things you can do. But once you get used to it, it's fine. But I do think at first, like once it starts implementing the uh, the combo moves and stuff, it can be a lot to take in at first. But once you get used to it, you know, it just gives you a ton of options. 
And none of them are, like, required. It's not like, oh, I gotta remember how to do this one move, because that's the only thing that works against this guy or anything. Um, you know, it, it's more of just giving you a ton of options. Yeah, I didn't really think about that, actually, because this would be... Sephiroth would be... Well, hmm. So I guess you could look at it two ways. You could look at it as Sephiroth's actually being nice to Zack, and Cloud is just remembering exactly what he said, or Cloud's memories are just wrong, and he's remembering Sephiroth being nice to him, and the way that Sephiroth would be nice to him is to let him show off in front of Tifa. So, like, he's remembering Zephyroth being nice, but maybe the way that he was nice he's misremembering? Or that's just what Sephiroth said, and it actually just happens to work out that he's showing off the T-Boat, you know what I mean? Either way, it's still cool. It's a cool detail. Is that Mako? Whoa. Whoa. Burp. <laughs> Come on, soldier. You can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Alright, so this is what I wanted to talk about. Well, first of all, perfect blocking is a thing now, which is incredible. I'm so happy about that. I am a very big fan of perfect blocking in pretty much every game. And perfect blocking makes Punisher mode insane. Because Punisher mode was already insane. But like the one downside of Punisher mode was that you had to get hit. But now you don't even have to get hit. Now you can get hit, but not take damage and then still get your Punisher counter. So Punisher was like low-key broken in the original remake. Now it's even stronger, but I don't think it doesn't do as much damage as it did in the original, so I think it's balanced pretty well. But I was afraid, like... So I was a little afraid that, like, because the combat is so similar to Remake, some of the things that were really busted in Remake would continue to be busted in this game, which I don't want to see. I want to see this game have a new meta, like a new way to deal a lot of damage and, and do well. Um... And I think they did good with Punisher because they nerfed it, but then they also made it better in different ways. So, like, now you can do it without taking damage, but also doesn't do as much damage as it did in the original. It's not yet. Maybe later it's stronger. But from what I saw in the demo, it doesn't, like, just do nuts damage like it did in the original. Um, so, so far, I'm liking the balance. So far, I feel like it's changing things up enough to make it feel like it's not just Remake again. Um, but the one thing I wanted to talk about was the aerial combat. Um, without, without spoiling anything, what do you guys think about the aerial combat? Good or bad? Just in general, in this game. Versus Remake. I'm curious to hear. So I also think that it's better for two reasons. For one, you get an ability with Cloud, which I don't think we have yet. Oh, they took it away. Normally you have it. In the re in the in the demo we had it. Or maybe it was only in the second part of the demo. But in one one of the parts of the demo, there was an ability with Cloud that specifically targets aerial combat, which and it has really good targeting too. And I was really happy to see that because in my review of Remake, that was like m one of my biggest things. I was like, they need to have abilities that help with aerial combat. Um, so that was really good. And then number two, um, the once you're in the air, the targeting for aerial combat is much better. So um, I think that aerial combat is in general better. My one complaint about the aerial combat, and I don't know if you guys agree or not, I don't like how you initiate air combat. The, you have to dodge and then hold down attack. 
and that's what initiates the air combat. I'm not a big fan of that. I think once you do it and you get used to it, it's fine, but it's really counterintuitive. It's not something that you would, like, you would have to explain that to someone or read the tutorial to get it. Um, so it's just kind of counterintuitive. Like, it's not very uh, friendly to, to someone that doesn't already know it. It's definitely not as fluid as Kingdom Hearts Air Combat, but it's definitely better. It's closer. Um, I don't think anything is, is good. Also, I love that part. Well done, Trooper. And I also love how Sephiroth gives him credit. Epic moment there. Um... I don't think anything could be as good as Kingdom Hearts Aerial Combat. You literally tap, jump, and hit attack, and you're going to hit something in midair. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's it's definitely way better. Like, I'd be willing to say that in Remake it was a problem, and in this game it's not. You may like it, you may not, but I don't think it's a problem. I don't think it's like a, a, a negative, you know, I wouldn't dock the game points for it. I think it's good enough. But, um... I already got my limit. But I do think that the way you initiate aerial combat is just very goofy. And because you can't just jump and start aerial combat, it feels like a bit clunky to have to dodge every time you want to get in the air. But that's my only real issue with it. And again, once you're used to that, it's no big deal. Also, you have characters like Barret that can just do aerial combat for free. So it's, you know, it's only a problem with Cloud and Tifa. Um, shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. I'll be careful, I can swat. <laughs> you better. Cool. See you at the reactor. I love how I said you better. Like, I don't want anything to happen to you. So great. Um, I don't need a tutorial. What was I saying? Oh, I need to, I need to play more with Tifa because in the second demo, um, Tifa was really bad at aerial combat and I was trying to decide whether or not she's bad at aerial combat because she's bad at aerial combat and they meant for her to be bad at aerial combat. Like, they wanted her, that's that's her detriment, is that she's bad at aerial combat. Or, she. I just didn't have the abilities yet to make her good at aerial combat. So I'm kind of interested to see. I'm cool with either one. I think that Tifa being a ground fighter and, like, being bad at aerial combat on purpose is totally fine. I like that idea. Um, but I'm also curious to see if maybe she just gets some other abilities that helps her with aerial combat. I still don't think she's going to be as good as pretty much everyone else, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Because in the demo, she was complete dog water. She could not hit a single enemy in the air. I would be standing right next to the aerial enemy and she'd just be whiffing. Like, even if she got in the air, she would just whiff. <laughs> so she was terrible. I could not, you could not use her for anything in the air unless you threw a spell. And I'm imagining she probably has one of the, the lower magic stats, so even that would be it's the worst version of that. I want to see if they say anything else about Punisher. Move slowly, powerful attack, counter blow, can't guard against ranged attacks. When you evade, you switch back. You want to be gone now. Let's finish this. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the new operator move. Like, I'm glad it's new. And like I said, I'm also glad that it's weaker. But uh, the whole like dash, 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 dash thing, I'm not a big fan of it. It gets kind of annoying after a while. Like it gets a bit, it feels a bit repetitive doing it all the time. The old Punisher combo felt really good. That like slash, slash, and then that really slow wind up, bam. Like that felt way better than the swish, 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 swish. Uh, 
uh, for having a complete, I think it was completed, remake save file, you get Leviathan. And for having a complete inner grade, you get uh, Ramu. Okay, just to save, apparently. Doesn't even have to be completed. Yeah, I mean, just thinking about the characters, we do not need Tifa to be good at aerial combat, or Cloud, for that matter. The other characters will more than make up <laughs> More than make up for aerial combat. Pretty much all of them should be good at aerial combat. Red 13 is a bit of a toss-up, but the others will all be good at aerial combat. So we do not need Cloud or Tifa for aerial combat. So I'm totally okay with them being mediocre at best. But I, I would not say that Cloud is mediocre at aerial combat. It's just a bit awkward to start. But once you're up there, he's pretty good. He has really good magic as well, so we can just throw magic. But he has really, really good uh, targeting in midair. And then, of course, he has like an ability, at least one ability, if not more, that's specifically designed for air. So well, he, he should be all set. Also, I want to see what happens if we find this early. Ah, I wanted to like, I wanted to show off and be like, "Look, guys, I found the thing." And then Tifa was going to be like, "You're so smart, Cloud." Instead, I gotta come up here and then get yelled at. Hey, not that way. No, screw you, I'm going this way. Nope, oh, I'm going. <laughs> I will find a way. Yeah, the physics are uh, very similar to Remake, where, like, touching stuff makes it yeet. Although I wasn't able to phase a chair into the environment like I did in Remake in the demo, so... It's a dead end! Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago! But I'm sure I'll find Come a way. Come back, okay? Okay. Okay. Cloud is so, like, vibrant. The difference between him here and him in the remake is really cool. Like, especially at the beginning of remake, he's very... Kratos. <laughs> here he's very... Very Zack-like, but... Even just young Cloud-like, I would say. Yeah, no, I'm saying it's good. Saying it's a good thing. Lead on. 